Why you. have you deserted Alan Chemartin? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, I mean, that's how a lot of people are putting it. But good evening to you and to your cherished uh, viewers. Uh, Paul, we have not deserted anyone. But the truth is that we believe that we made a mistake. And what we... when Who you, is we? So we have a group called 50 plus 1. So the whole thing started like this, where I, member, I was a member of the Movement for Change. And also I was contesting for Adenta constituency in the primaries. On the ticket of who? MPP. MPP, okay. Yes. So when the whole uh, primaries, the MPP presidential primaries happened, I decided to stop and follow the Honorable Alan Kojo Chemate. But I'll say that that decision I made, speaking for myself, was a mistake. When the dust settled and everything became clear, that's when we realized that later I was very like strong, one of the leading members of the movement for change. You are still in yellow no. or something close to yellow. <laughs> but it's, it has nothing to do with the movement for change. Were you guys taught how to sing Kojo Inchi's song? No, not at all. Do you know which song I'm referring to? Yes. Afra Fantoy. You were not taught how to sing No, no, it's not one it. of the things. We okay, so you're telling me the story. Go so, on. So, Paul, when, when we came to movement for change, I'll say that we transitioned to movement for change. For me, it was because of the love and uh, let me say the kind of emotions I had towards Honorable Alan Kojo Chemantin, that I have to be true to the facts. But in reality, I keep saying that I'm a consultant, a business consultant. And one of the things I keep telling my clients is that every decision you make at every quarter, you have to rethink your decision. You have to know that, is this decision helping me or not? I'm a young man. If I make a mistake, I, I tell myself I have the opportunity to correct it. It's only a fool who doesn't change his mind. And I can't afford to live with regrets and disappointment all my life. Just because I was so proud to continue on a certain trajectory that I knew wouldn't help me. And you, you have said a lot, but you haven't nailed it on the point. So what happened was that since January, somewhere January 15th, I had become very quiet. I mean, if you know the movement for change, one of the people that actually moved it was me among the youth very influential oh, I on see. the movement what, yes. what name do they call you over there adenta kumi adenta kumi yes with the name of the constituency yes i mean <laughs> adenta kumi came when i contested in adenta in 2020. Mm -hmm. that was my first time so it was this second time primaries that i had to sacrifice it to follow the honorable alan kojo tremante so a lot of people noticed why is it that someone will tell you that when you see 20 pictures of on Abu Alan Kojo Chemantin, you 18 of them, you see me in it. Oh, really? Yes. Charlie, guys, look for Alan Chemantin's pictures. Let's see whether Adenta that, Kumi, I mean, Adenta Kumi is inside. That, that, that's how it was. Mm -hmm. But when you become quiet for some time, your silence becomes very loud. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's when people know that you are here with a man or you've been doing this and you stop doing all those things, people begin to realize it. Then a lot, I got a lot of different calls, a lot of what's going on, even from Alan Kojo Chemantin's PA, is everything fine? But I was actually rethinking my decision. Because if I didn't, if it's not as if um, I wanted to just make the decision without, I don't know how to put it. I didn't want to rush into making that decision. Which decision? The decision to go back to the new patriotic party. Because the first decision I made to leave... So did you resign? No, I did not resign. What from did the you new tell party. them? I, I wrote a letter that I couldn't uh, continue with the election, maybe for personal reasons. Okay. So, and uh, they accepted my uh, withdrawal from the race, but I did not officially resign from the party. So, what, what, what caused you to sort of think, take the decision to leave Alan Chamati? Uh, Paul, the thing is that you have to be true to yourself and you have to be true to where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we may be a group, we have a common goal, which is a desirable target set by us, a group of people with a plan of action to go back. But every individual has a reason why they are going back. And I can speak for myself. I made a decision which was wrong because I know I love the MPP. And when the dust settled down, I realized that I did not really have the opportunity to pay a close look at the vice president. Now, I realize that 
as it's always said that everything rises and falls on leadership. I realize that the vice president whose certain characteristics, I've, I've been hearing that people are trained a Christ-like character outside. A Christ-like leader is one who is very accessible, one who has a very good relationship with people. And when you look at the vice president, you can't take that away from him. Because if you want to unify the party, the new patriotic party, is one of the qualities you need to have. And I can compare him, uh, or I can draw certain similarities between him and President Kufo. They don't make much noises about the relationship they have. But you realize that they know people personally, and they share a very good relationship with them. But the 7th January, uh, the 7th February speech that he gave at the UPSA, uh, naming it the bold solutions, really changed my mind. I realized that he's a man that he understands the situations. He knows where the shortfalls are, and he's ready to tackle it. He's not someone running away from the problem. He's not someone saying that, give me honeymoon, because he knows that the problems that Ghana faces now should be handled head on and now. So, so when going, Dr. Baumia spoke, you had heard of Antima since speak before, I didn't you? Yes. You so were at the Kempiski. Yes, so many times. Yes, yeah. I was there. Were you in one of the walks? Which walk did you attend? Uh, the, Does Kumasi there? The, the one in Accra. 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 Yes. You I were was, there? Yes, I was in the one in Accra. So you had a yellow shirt on? Yes, I had a yellow shirt on. Do you still have the yellow shirt in your house? Yes, I still have a yellow still shirt. still there? Uh, so what, before you heard Dr. Baumia speak, what convinced you about Alan? Well, uh... Alan, I'll say it was love at the first sight. Hey, yes, what uh, is I that? just like it, his, the way he composes himself. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when we were growing up, we knew about Alan Cash. So I mean, people will say yeah, that, yeah correct. That yeah, we, we know Alan Cash from that point of view. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that dawned on me is that the person that I actually cherish so much in the party. Is President Kufo. He himself has not left the party. Mm -hmm. So what right do I have to leave the party? And always when you give up on something or when you're about giving up, you have to ask yourself, what was the very reason why I even started it? Some people say that those of you who left, just left Alan last week, he promised you some money. He has not been able to pay you yet. And oh, that's no, why it's, not, it's not true. Nothing to do with money? Nothing to do with money. Are you sure? Before God, I had nothing to do with Our money. Our money has been organized by the MPP to buy you guys out. Then I asked myself that, is it that when we are going to movement, we are offered money? Or when movement was being started? No, maybe movement was started and you joined, you guys joined with the expectation that Alan Cash has cash. I mean, cash. the very people making this comment, I feel it's one childish and it's out of bitterness. And I was raised in a Christian background. We don't answer to bitter people. <laughs> the Bible says in some You are calling people, Abu Sakara bitter? Yeah, th that's what I have to say. Because Abu Sakara? If you're a learned man and you raise allegations that you haven't seen or you don't have evidence to, what does it make you? It makes you either incompetent or you're a liar. But what, why... Will, so you're not going to be working for the MPP in Adenta? Yes, I'm going to To ensure work. that victory comes to Yeah, Akosia. Not, not just even in uh, Adenta to help Akosia, but also to... Uh, in the uh, in the nation, all over, we are going around talking to people, letting people understand that as our party, you can't keep running. If today I'm in movement and an election comes and I'm not happy with the results, should I keep running? It's not the abundance of political parties, but one political party and being uh, making it effective. So that's mm -hmm. what we've come to the realization and realize that we have to go back to our party. We love our party. And is it true there are six thousand of you? There are 6,000. Currently, we are more. We are updating our uh, database. More of you have left the movement. Yeah, we are 6,480. That's the last database we had before the press conference. But we are updating our... I've had several calls. The team, I came with the team. We've had several calls of more people. And they don't come alone. They come in groups. Your team, so they are here? Yes. How many? Uh, I came with uh, two others. Are they male or female? They are all male. Can you ask them to come so that we can see yes. them? Unless they don't want to be seen. Ah, uh, so, <laughs> is it not true that Lord Oblete Komi has been talking to you guys to come back to the party and things like that? Uh, the last time Lord I, Komi. The last time I saw Lord Komi, I was actually with Honorable Alan Kojo Chimanti. We went for, I think, some relative of his had passed mm -hmm. and we went to his house. I didn't even shake his hand or talk to him. But why would Lord Komi even do that? I mean... There are rumors of rumors. Yes, that, that's, what I'm saying that, this, that, that. that's what I'm saying. That it's a certain attempt oh, for Chief, people come, come, who are come bitter. Come and shake hands with us. 
They are better, eh? Yes, better people. Uh, hello, boss. Hi. Hi. Good Thank to see you, eh? You. Cheers. The MPP says welcome back. Yes. Uh, you feel welcome back? Very, very. But you don't want to go to the NDC? No, not at all. Uh, why? No you guys are hard guys. So. Let's, let's carry alternative. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we call it scary alternative. Yes, NDC, scary alternative. Okay, I mean, you, what is John Mahama your bringing? Yeah. <laughs> John Mahama. No, I'm, I'm not going to allow you to talk about John Mahama. <laughs> you have come here to talk about Alan Chamati and the MPP. So you've joined Mahama Dubaumia's uh, team. Yes. Is it team or MPP campaign? Yes. But I'm, it's a very difficult election the MPP is going into. Very, very difficult. Well, the truth is that every election is difficult. Mm. But you must understand the grounds, the season you are in, and the kind of message that you take to the people. I, I keep telling people that one of... If you want a leader that can help you, you have to look at a Christ-like leader and you have to see humility in the person. Mm -hmm. You know the internal wranglings that have gone on in the MPP. But when Dr. Baumia became the flag bearer, just look at how things have settled down. It's true. Can I make that point? Settled yeah, down. He's, he's gelled with everyone. That's true. That's My correct. mom keeps asking, Umpe, we now per day. Mm. And I've realized that he's a serious politician. All the things that were said about him, He's not gone about to try and fight them, but he's rather made friends with all his enemies. And that's what the Bible teaches us. Hmm. So if you're looking for a Christ-like leader, and a Christ-like leader, I keep saying, he must be accessible. Hmm. If, if you don't have that, then you're not a Christ-like leader. Okay. Are you getting it? Tonight is for Jenna No Poko We'll get you again to talk. Let's see Dr. Baumia. Who was she on there? Who was she on there? This is Dr. Baumia's montage. Yeah, you